Hey, hey, Easy Jeezy here. Uh, making this video today in uh, response to a video that VW Darren just recently posted about his aluminum stroker case and this uh, hole in question. Um, I got a super case from an aluminum one from CB Performance a few years back and I built a 2 liter out of it and I didn't have a clue about that hole being there or not and I've uh, I've run it. It's it's in my it's in my dune buggy. Um, I think I've got a, a stock cam with 1.4 racial rockers and stock heads, and I never usually wrap it much over. You know, I might take it to 5,000 on rare occasions, but you know, generally I'm just driving it like you would a regular car. You don't have to rev it up like a, a small motor. It's it's got plenty of torque, and uh, I I love it, and I, I've. Not as far as I know, I'm not having any issues. It, I'm using the uh, stock uh, cam gears. They're not straight cut gears. Steel on the crank and aluminum on the cam. Uh, and I, I don't hear anything, but now that you've pointed it out, I'm kind of worried about it. But this one's run fine, and I haven't had any ill effects, if that's any uh, consolation to you. But I had the same issue you did with the... Uh, oil holes on the main bearings and caught that in time and corrected it just like you did uh... It made me feel good when i saw how you did it because that's all i did <laughs> i did it the same way so anyway i looked in my pile of of stuff and this is an old uh... 1966 thirteen hundred case uh... that's been sitting around and i i took upon myself to look in this one and you can look at the uh... Uh, what he's talking to, I'm just sharing information here, and I know Darren knows all of this stuff, but some of you guys uh, might want to know. The uh, crankshaft in a Volkswagen turns clockwise, and the, so that would mean that the camshaft's turning counterclockwise. And so any oil that's getting flung off of this gear is going to be coming to this side of the case, which is the distributor side, and on the other this side of the case is where your uh, generator stand bolts on. There's a little shelf up here and there's a, a space in the back over here where um, when you add oil to your car it falls down here and it keeps your oil from spraying up and, and coming out your oil breather uh, more than necessary. So uh, as I looked at this, now we'll take, the, uh, we'll take the cam gear out so we can get a little bit better view down there. Okay, and you can see Right there is the hole that Darren's talking about. And it looks to me, I don't know about you, but it looks to me like they ran a boring tool right above the oil hole, straight down here at an angle. And that, uh, of course, they probably had to do another hole um, to put the oil pickup tube through. And uh, there it is. Uh, get on the right side here. I'm going to stick my finger down here if I can. have to switch hands. Um, gosh darn it, I did that a second ago. Ah. Okay, there's my finger sticking through there right above the pickup. And you can see pretty good. It almost touches the oil dipstick tube uh, spot and then on this side here you can see right right on the edge here they actually had more metal in the case there's a little bit of a ridge a little bubble there where they uh, had more metal and then they add the bore and then as we look down here on the bottom uh, gosh it's hard to <laughs> do things with the viewfinder on there is a little bit of a, of a gap there so we've got it on both sides for the bottom but then we've also got this so, one there is the the other hole and you can see the head bolt there from uh, number three cylinder be the lower left uh, head bolt cylinder head stuff and that comes into the chamber in the same spot there so I would please check that aluminum case and see if it has that hole too I wonder if they left them both out um, but that's what we're talking about and that's what we're looking at and uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Darren and I have never talked on the phone. I sent him my phone number a couple of times, but uh, I uh, 
I, I, I think I have his phone number. I think Greg gave it to me one time, but I can't find it for the for the life of me right now. I'm kind of unorganized when it comes to that paperwork stuff. So uh, I'm gonna take it in the house, and I wanna uh, show you a couple other things. Let me wipe this grease off. I'll turn All it right, back. We're on. back in the house here. Uh, oh, I set these out so I wouldn't forget. Uh, Rusty Glove Box has been making knives and forging some cool stuff. Uh, the other day I was at the at this uh, oh a crazy shop. It wasn't import. Uh, uh, oh, one of those kitchen places that has the Chinese tools. And uh, look at this. Uh, look at these uh, little knife, fork, and spoons. And obviously they were uh, hammered out of of you know pieces of round stock. But I wonder what they used for. Uh, making that fork design. Look how pretty that is. They polished it all up and it's definitely one piece and the the spoon came out of that uh, stuff too. I thought you know these everybody around the garage gang seems to be metal workers of one kind or another. So here was a little knife, fork, and spoon set that uh, I picked up. They had them in a, in a big pile. They had the bigger versions of them too, but I thought these small ones would be fun to take camping, you know, and make a conversation piece. Anyhow, stay back on track. Uh, I, I left a note in Darren's comments that uh, about this blue book, uh, this old How to Hot Rod Volkswagen engine books here. I'm sure he's got that in his library. And uh, this was an old popular one, and guys laugh at it now, but there's a lot of good information in here. And on page 107, uh, what I was referring to, uh, here we go, 107. And here is the cam, cam gear, and you'll see how they uh, cut two grooves in there. And what it says here, I don't know if that'll focus or if you can read it, but I'll, I'll just read it. Okay, two 90 thousandths inch wide grooves cut to the tooth depth are Jeanberg mods to reduce oil slung about by cam gear. This can add horsepower by reducing power required to squish oil out of the meshing gear teeth. So that's what I was referring to. Um, and there you can you can see the little dot, the, the camming dot and you can see how it's lined up with the slot here. Darren's showed that before. And uh, so anyhow, it's it's something to ponder. I know uh, Darren's using the uh, straight cut gears and uh, uh, steel on steel. Uh, I had ordered some uh, those heads and I was talking to the guys over at Carcraft VW. They're good folks over there and they've got some good prices. They're they're cheaper and they're carrying a lot of the uh, the off-brand stuff. You know, they're selling it for so obviously you're gonna make up the deal. That's where I bought those heads and and they're gonna need a little bit of handwork my of my own uh, on it. Well I'll show you that when I get around to doing it. But uh, I was talking to this fellow Anthony and uh, we happened to be talking about the straight cut cam gears. Uh, I was asking him about his cases. They have a super case and I was asking him, it's the same price as CBs, I was asking him where they get them from uh, and just some, we talked for a while. So uh, uh, he told me that he's running those steel straight cut gears on both the crank and the cam on his engine and that he's put a few thousand miles on it and when he shuts it off uh, it kind of the road engine rotates backwards a little bit and he says that he can hear the steel gears click and that's what I was referring to in my comment it makes a little clicking noise he said it's kind of aggravating and he says it's uh, it's it's noisy but you know he's he's I don't know I didn't really ask him if, if he was to build it over again if he'd do it the, the same way but he would he just told me that it did make noise and and that's what he had used in his engine uh, which was a stroker motor so uh, I wish that I'd have known about his uh, that hole in the case and and asked him about that then but I didn't uh, and maybe CB performance would give you some input on that too but anyhow yeah that's an interesting uh, thing to discover and uh, makes you wonder for sure I, I think if I was gonna if that was my engine and I know I'm not one to be given advice to anybody but Darren did ask for our opinions I think I would uh, maybe make the hole uh, and make it a little bit smaller 
um, and just uh, kind of listen and keep an eye on things because I'm sure with that big motor um, and your mystery cam and, and uh, all those things that uh, you're going to be taking that motor apart from time to time and changing things and uh, and looking at things because uh, I know you're a perfectionist and especially with uh, a monster motor like that man that is that is just something I was always dreamt about building but uh, it wouldn't be practical for me uh, for my applications um, and I just uh, I can't experiment with something like that I uh, I'm gonna live vicariously through your uh, adventure on that and I appreciate you posting all the videos you do appreciate everybody in the garage gang and all the views and all the things th uh, that you support I get from everybody um, and I want to give you a heads up uh, before this thing gets too long it already is I'm gonna do a uh, experimental video for I've, I've recently started doing yoga and it just has really helped my health and I, I uh, the the place where I go for my yoga classes. There's a very nice lady there. It's her business, and uh, I'm sure she'd like it to grow. And I was trying to suggest to her about maybe posting something up and uh, putting a video that would help bring more customers to her. Plus, I wanted to share my experience, how it's really helped me. Uh, with my help, health and wellness, and she feels the same way. She's a real cool lady, and uh, if you guys wouldn't mind watching that video and leaving a comment or a like or a sub or something, uh, maybe we can kick her off. Or uh, she's a little bit leery about starting one up herself, and I offered to help. So that's kind of what that is all about, and I'll be posting that video here pretty soon. Um, I got to get her approval on it first, and there's some disclaimers and liability issues with uh, with all of that stuff that deals with your health and wellness. So that's what's going on there, and uh, uh, I'll sign off for now on this one. Spending way too much time, but uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy out.